What's up, my Leos? It's your girl, Raven, aka Rainbow Bright. And how are you doing today? I'm having a great day today, and I hope you are too. I want to thank you all for the love and support of my videos. Please thumbs them up for me and let me know how well I'm doing, okay? So let's see what's going on in your energy, Leo, okay? Uh, again, I hope you've had a great day today. Me and Odin have had a great day too. We're just, you know, chilling, kicking it, you know? So, Holy Spirit, can you please tune me into the frequency of Leo? Let me know what's going on in the Leo's energy. And this is for anyone who has Leo in their chart, sun, moon, rise, or whatever, you know. Cross watchers are welcome too. All right. So what do we have for Leo, Spirit? What is the starter message for my Leos? Y'all Leos are fun. Y'all are so much fun to hang with. All right. We got... Okay. <laughs> Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups here. Leo, what are you hiding here, huh? You hiding something about... <laughs> it, okay, I kind of feel the energy of like a kid who has just like found a dollar on the ground and hasn't told the rest of his siblings that he just found some money. He's just like holding it like, <laughs> I've got something I won't tell. <laughs> you know, like, you know, I don't know if you guys may have had siblings growing up, but you're not like... Y'all may have went to the corner store. Y'all might have went to any type of store as a kid. Got ice cream, candy, whatever. And, like, you know, your parents may have given you, like, some change or whatever. And then, like, out of nowhere, one of your siblings or your cousin or your friends just whipped out of pocket with this loose dollar. You're like, hold on. Where you get a dollar from? Oh, I found it uh, down the street a while back. And you're like, why didn't you tell us? <laughs> like, that kind of energy. I know that kind of was a stretch, but I don't know. What's the Seven of Swords for Leo? Let's see what this sneaky deceptive energy is. Somebody's lying about the wish contentment? Maybe so. Five of Cups is here. Somebody's sad. What's up, Leo? What's the sadness about, huh? Sad that some of the cups got spilled over. Maybe you have more than nine cups, and maybe three of them got spilled over here. Seeing things from another perspective about some friends or a third-party situation with the hangman and the three of cups here. Someone was lying to you. Someone was cheating on you. Someone was portraying themselves to, I don't know. Like, okay, what's this hangman here? You got enlightenment. What's the hangman? You got enlightened about this mess here. Ooh, your card, strength. Okay, so you became enlightened about the truth, about what was going on around you, okay? So... You garnered your strength, you know, so that you, I guess, can move forward into your wish contentment, which is what this Nine of Cups is. What's the strength, spirit? Yeah, all the lovers. Yeah, I had to draw clothes on them. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, after some sort of betrayal has happened, some sort of deceptive, sneaky behavior, Two ways, really. It seems to me as though you may have been deceived by someone you were with, or maybe you deceived somebody. Dick, take it out, resonates. And your deceit, you got deceived, maybe someone cheated on you, but then also you may have had someone in the background that you were having some kind of feelings for, too. Now, I don't want to call it a backup plan, but you just have developed feelings for somebody. So now, and this may have been a, a destined connection, a soulmate or twin flame with the lovers here. So you're like thinking of the bright, the brighter side of things. Like, okay, let me look at this from another perspective here. Yeah, you know, this mess happened. I got cheated on, or whatever. You know, but now I, but I know now what I want and who I need to be with because this is somebody that I'm in love with. The Hierophant. I want to marry this person. You know, this is somebody who I follow their traditions and beliefs. They mean a lot to me. What's the Nine of Cups, please? Freedom, I would say, Seven of Cups. Freedom to express, too. Knight of Cups is here. Freedom to express openly with the Six of Wands. Page of Swords, like, watching, waiting, news, like, news, extra, extra, read on about it. Like, for real, like, your Knight of Cups, <coughs> Collective Leos, is your freedom to pick what you want, do what you want. You know what I'm saying? Make those choices, express how you feel openly, publicly. This is your victory. You know, you've been waiting, you've been watching, you've been curious about this. 
This is your wish contentment. This is your wish fulfillment. This is your nine of cups. Bing. <laughs> so. It looks as though you've been heartbroken in the past, okay? I am so sorry for that. But what I like about this reading so far, and I know we just started, we're what? They were only like five minutes in. And already I just see someone who already has their mind made up, which tells me a lot about your energy. It tells me that like right off the bat that you are not trying to too much focus on the past and the deceptive behavior. You're just more trying to move on into the happy future and the choices and possibilities you have in front of you. And I really like and respect that. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get some more energy out. Let's choose a different deck. Let's see what we got. Spirit, can you please continue to keep me tuned into the frequency of Leo, the collective Leo's energy out there? Sorry, I got allergies, guys. You guys may have allergies too. Take some medicine. Okay, Leo, you've got some truth and clarity about something that was making you sad. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I can't stop sneezing. Uh, Ace of Swords and Five of Cups. I'm sorry. Again, someone must have allergies or somebody's allergic to something. But yeah, you've got some truth and clarity about something that was making you sad and upset. Confirmation. What is the Five of Cups? Because that's twice now that you have the Five of Cups out here. Maybe you've got more than one person sad. Maybe you're sad and someone else is sad too. It's just a saddening situation, but you're just look so. Maybe this is why you're so focused on the future because you're like, I'm just, so, there's so much sadness around me. I want to manifest a happy, new, passionate beginning. I don't want to focus this depressing ass shit. Yeah, the Page of Swords reverses here. Um, that's gossip, defensiveness. Um, what's the page of swords reverse? Someone gossiped that made you sad. Somebody was running their fucking mouth. Excuse my language. I was gonna say the the other term for it, but you know I'm gonna be nice. There's a bully here, an unrelenting ass bully. Knight of swords reverse with the ten of wands reverse. There was a bully that needed to be let go of, but there's somebody in your energy though who was just being pushy and bullying. They were trying to. They were gossiping, maybe, trying to say that maybe you were a bully, that you were burdened in this relationship. Maybe they're trying to put all the weight on you, you know? And maybe, maybe, or maybe this is just like, okay, I got to let this shit go. This is just too much. Let's see okay, what else can you tell me about this Five of Cups energy? What else is making our collective energy sad? Oh, a relationship from the past. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles here. This could involve children. Charity, giving, receiving. Maybe somebody is sad about how they helped someone in the past or something. Maybe this is a past life karmic debt. Car past life karmic debt. There we go. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. What's the Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, please? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, someone from the past is refusing to walk away. Maybe someone is stuck thinking in the past and they're refusing to move on here. We got the Eight of Cups reversed. We got the Two of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Someone here wants to keep the party going. They want to keep. They want to keep trying to balance things, and and you know, I don't know. The page of wands is like like surprising news. Two of Pentacles is like going with the flow, balancing things. You know, trying to balance responsibilities. And Eight of Cups reverse is like refusing to walk away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. Let me move on to another deck. Oh, Leos, I hope you're liking the reading so far. Please thumbs it up for you, girl. All right, so, Spirit, please continue to keep me tuned into the frequency of Leo. Please show me more I need to know about Leo and this Eight of Cups in Reverse energy. What's the Eight of Cups in Reverse? 
I'm telling you, I just love knocking cars off the table. Okay. Someone is having trouble moving on because they have two options ahead of them. Two of wands here. It's like, do I go left? Do I go right? You know, plan A, plan B. This is about future plans. Someone is having trouble moving on from the plans that maybe they've made um, in the future. You know about this. Maybe someone has was really invested here. They really put a lot of thought into this. And they're having trouble moving on. Maybe they don't know which way to go. And it's really keeping them up at night with the Nine of Swords. Hmm. What's the um, Two of Wands? Yeah, the world is here. The world. The world talks about completing a chapter. This could be internet activity as well. The fool just flew out and had to be put at the bottom of the deck now. New beginnings are here. Your ships are coming in with the Three of Wands here. Now, with the ships coming in, this could be more responsibilities too, Leo. Because, you know, with great power comes great freaking responsibility here with the sun and the Ten of Wands. Being in, you know, there's going to be a lot of clarity around things that you need to do around your children. You know, this could also mean that there, there's someone uh, maybe having a baby or maybe it's someone's child that's moving back home because the Three of Wands represents ships coming in and then we got the Son of the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, maybe somebody's kid is moving back in, you know, maybe so, or maybe somebody's just coming back home or maybe someone's moving out. Maybe someone's child is moving out. Maybe someone's child is taking on more responsibilities here. I see a lot of different possibilities here. What else, Spirit, for our Leo Collective Energies? Okay, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, it was reversed here. And Five of Cups and the Ten of Swords with a fortune reverse. Holy shit. Okay. Let's look aside for a second. All right, so Five of Pentacles, that's your lack loss card, like be down the code or having financial challenges, homelessness, all that thing. All those things. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here, the Knight of Pentacles is reversed. When he's reversed, he stands still. He, the Knight of Pentacles is already the slowest moving knight of the tarot deck. So when he's reversed, he's just stuck. He's just like, I ain't moving at all. I'm unfocused. I don't know what I'm doing here, whatever. This kind of mindset is what's going to keep you in a set of lack and poverty, okay? Not knowing what to do, not remaining focused. This may be someone in your energy that you're moving away from. Maybe this is why you're moving away from them because they can't stay focused and they're always thinking about what they don't have and they don't want to do a, a, don't, don't want to do shit about it. They just want to complain and that gets old, 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 or that could be you, you know, moving on from that or just a, a friendly warning here. Yeah, because um, the will of fortune is reversed. Ten of swords and the five of cups. That's your sadness. So to me, this kind of spells out to me why, because what was that three times the five of cups is out here? So this really tells me why this is leading up to the five of cups because the will of fortune is stuck. Because the wheel is stuck, things aren't moving forward. It also means bad luck and bad karma, too, because there's a betrayal here. You know, someone, you know, try to... <laughs> now, funny, okay, I love my cartoons, okay? But <laughs> this particular Ten of Swords card, his pinnacles, are, well, his coins are laid down on the ground, okay? And now I know that means, you know, it's like everything's okay card, you know, in these new beginnings. But I kind of feel like with those coins laying out right there, that somebody try to take him for his pinnacles, so the will might have been stuck and somebody really has some financial problems here and they may have gotten scammed and betrayed and taken for their pentacles. <laughs> See how homies, he got took for his pentacles. That's fucked up. Somebody may be scamming you here. Someone may be trying to offer you something that's too good to be true. Be careful of that, okay? Be careful of that. If anybody's trying to offer you anything that just sounds too good to be true, nah. Say, nah, that ain't for me, G. That ain't for me. Okay. So, you may be moving on from this person because you're tired of your will being stuck. You're tired of living in the past. You know, you don't want to think about these cups. See, okay, let me pull out this other. Okay, this, okay, hold on. Where's the other five of cups at? Because I'm going to show you the difference in the pictures. Yeah, here we, yeah, here we go. Okay. This is, you got three five of cups out here. I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out again later. Okay, the difference between these Five of Cups pictures is these two are similar because 
He's focused on the cups that spilt over and he sat over him. He's not looking at the two that are standing behind him. He's not focusing on what he has left. He's just thinking about what he's lost, right? Well, in this Five of Cups card, he's actually looking in the mirror. Yes, he's facing those spilled cups, but he's also looking in the mirror to say, to kind of remind himself to look behind him and remember that he still has opportunities left behind him. You still have opportunities left. If you've been betrayed or hurt or sad, whatever the situation may be, don't focus so much. And I like that he's not, like his head is not down. I mean, I know it's like a cloaked figure. He's like a ghost, really. But, you know, his head is not down. He's like just focusing on looking through a portal to really focus on these two cups right here. You know, I mean, yeah. Someone here may have, someone here feels like they've just been took, like their soul is taken. They're just like, I'm just tired. I don't know what else to do. Yeah. Okay, let me keep going here. The King of Swords reverse. You might have been dealing with a narcissist, someone who's very controlling, manipulating. You know, what's this King of Swords reverse? Let's see, it's caught on my finger. Yeah, somebody who's never freaking happy. The Four Cups came out. Okay, it was kind of like stuck on my finger, but like it kind of came out reverse. But Four Cups is like missed opportunity. I'm bored. I'm I'm not satisfied with this. You're dealing with somebody who's narcissistic, controlling lies, uh, manipulates really badly, and um, and they're bored. They're not. They're never happy. Nothing makes them happy. They're always mad. They always got their guard up. They're always like blocked. You know, they don't know what they want to do with themselves. Someone is moving away from this person. They're always having to keep their wall up around this person. They're tired. Yeah, three of swords. They're heartbroken, tired of this shit. Tired of the bitchiness. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy. That's the King of Swords. The Queen to the King of Swords. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords in reverse. You may be dealing with two people. Uh, collective Leos. This could be a masculine who is narcissistic and just an asshole. And there could be a feminine who is narcissistic and an asshole. They're both bitchy, emotional, um, controlling. Yeah, like they, they're they not at peace with themselves or with anybody around them. A lot of narcissists in your energy, Leo. Okay, we got the Hermit, this Virgo energy, and then the Eight of Wands reverse. That's like slowing down or scattered energy here. The Hermit is um, soul searching, introspection, like meditation. Looking with looking with them for answers. So someone here may have been scattered on the inside or just don't know or just didn't know what to do or what direction to go in, which is why the eight of wands is reversed. So they so someone did some soul searching, some deep soul searching. You may have Virgo in your chart. Seven of Wands. This is like setting up for yourself, setting up for your beliefs, being in an enviable position and have others like trying to take you off your position. You know, so yeah, so yeah. You're defending yourselves and you're, 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 you guys are defending yourselves in what you believe in and you're moving forward. You're tired about, you're tired of doing this balancing act. Like that has gotten really old for you. Really freaking old. It's crazy. Okay. Let me move on to another deck here. Okay. Spirit, please keep me tuned into the frequency of Leo, the collective energies of Leo. And please help me to clearly and precisely convey these messages for my Leo energies. What else is going on for my Leos? All right. We still got the chair reverse, cancer energy here. Chair reverse is about um, like a lack of direction, lack of control. Uh, carelessness, but it can also mean self-discipline too. What's the chariot reverse here? Jeez. Okay. Inner conflict here. This is the this is came out sideways. That's gonna be skill for now because we skill the business, the ego, manifestation too, because that's the eight of pentacles, that's hard work. Someone here could be sitting on their self or is trying to remain self-disciplined, trying to avoid conflict and respect differences, like agreeing to disagree, diversity, things like that. 
They're trying to retreat and find solitude here so that they can manifest and do something bigger and better than what they've done before. This could also say that someone here is not able to move forward because they have a lot of inner conflict. So this could be that narcissistic energy that has a lot of inner conflict here. And they really, really need to take, they really need to retreat and do some shadow work. But really, they need to really just retreat and um, I guess work on themselves here. Five of Pentacles again with the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody, um, or this could be you, recovering from financial loss and challenges, like I said before, with the Five of Pentacles reversed. But this is definitely at home. Someone here is trying hard to build that Ten of Pentacles after this loss, after this change, after this maneuver, or whatever the hell happened here. Somebody here is definitely trying to rebuild themselves. I think the energy is leaning more on the self-discipline aspect. Someone here is just trying to work, I mean, trying to utilize their self-discipline through this conflict and really focus on their skills and healing and moving on from challenges and building their, their, their wealth and financial security so that they can take care of their family and have long-term success. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles is here. Somebody here wants to save money. They're trying to build a stable foundation here for their family. They're holding on tight. Temperance is here. Patience, divine time and harmony, balance. Somebody here is trying to balance their 3D and their 5D. They're trying to find their purpose. They're trying to have, they're trying to be patient with themselves and others. What's the temperance? It's also Sagittarius energy. Capricorn is the four of pentacles. Ten of pentacles is Virgo. All right. So somebody's manifesting something really quickly here with the eight of wands here. Because someone is... Trusting in divine timing and being patient and just letting their spirit team, you know, step in and do, and, you know, and help them out with this build stability. Things are going to manifest pretty fast for you here. What's the eight of wands spirit? Yeah. Um, the long-term view, the uh, seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles is like um, investing, but also being patient because, each pinnacle blooms in its own time. Each flower blooms in its own time. Like I said before about the Knight of Pentacles, I don't know if I said on this reading or maybe I said on the other reading, but the Knight of Pentacles, he's the slowest moving knight in the deck because money takes time. You know, stability, all of that, it takes time. So someone here is really, 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 really leaning into their um, their divine time and their their, their um, temperance energy. They're, they're, being, they're using their temperance. Definitely. Someone here has learned a mighty lesson behind this failed relationship or connection or whatever it is that they're moving on from. Yeah, because they were very, very discontent with this. Someone here has learned from their past mistakes and they don't want to repeat it. And they are determined that whatever this new connection is, this new connection they want to move forward into or this new life, this new journey that you, that you, you or someone in your energy is moving into, you want to make sure that it's done right this time because you're not going to keep repeating this cycle with the world reverse. You're not going to keep spinning the block. You want to understand the lesson here. You want to complete this chapter here. What else, Spirit, for um, the collective Leos? Yeah, uh, Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration, learning, building something. You have learned a lesson. And this time, you want to build something the right way. Yeah, this is a new beginning here with the Fool. The Fool with the Ace of Wands. You may be working um, with somebody on a business ideal or something, but you are inspired, dude. You are super inspired to move on, and I am super forward. I'm happy for you. You are moving forward here. What's this Fool? The Ace of Wands for the collective energies? Yeah, judgments here. You've had an awakening. You've had an awakening, um, judgment, birth, a reckoning. You've asked for forgiveness. You've asked to be forgiven. And, this, and the Holy Spirit has heard your prayers. They have heard you. They have heard you. You are good, Leo. For this new beginning, you are good. You are good for this. Okay. Odin, I really wish you would go and sit down. <laughs> Queen of Wands. This is a courage. 
This is your self-confidence. This is the, you know, the focus, the determination, the joy. You know, you're the social butterfly right now. You're feeling good. You know, it's Sagittarius. I mean, not Sagittarius. It's Aries energy. Sagittarius is here. But fire sign energy for show. But I mean, this is the fire sign reading. It's Leo. Wheel of Fortune is here. The wheel is going to turn. If you remain courage and determined and focused, like that Knight of Pentacles energy I just told you about, I think I'm going to name your reading that. That you're in the Knight of Pentacles energy. That's really good. It's called the Knight of Money's energy. <laughs> you're focused. What's this Wheel of Fortune? What's the sneak peek here? What's the Wheel of Fortune? What's going to happen next, huh? For Leo. What's next for Leo? Okay. So what's happening next is that you have a decision to make and you're kind of confused or indecisive about it because it's um, somebody here that you have to make a decision on is just like I said, they're a bully. The Emperor versus here again, Aries energy. Libra energy here with the two of swords reverse. This could be somebody's feelings too. Maybe someone's feeling blocked. What's the will of fortune? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God. God himself is like handing you the coin of opportunity. Yeah, the world is in your hands. The world is in your hands, Leo. And I am super proud of you. You are in the Knight of Pentacles energy. The Knight of Dollar Signs energy. For sure, for sure, for sure. And yeah, you know, something may have happened in the past, but you're like, dude, I'm not letting this stop in me. I'm not. I'm not going to let... You know, Knight of Wands, and even though these are reversed, I really think the right energy is upright. But it's like, I'm not going to let this betrayal and all this mess stop me. I'm not going to let it stop my drive. I'm not going to let it take away from my self-esteem and take away from my creativity. And I'm not going to let it knock me out of my joy. No, I'm not. That's your energy, bro. Or ladies. <laughs> Goes both ways. I'm sorry. Okay. So, let's get some final advice here. For Leo, let's see, which deck do I want to use? Well, I haven't used my Panther Oracles. Okay. Holy Spirit, can you please give me some final advice for the collective Leo energies? Please keep me tuned into their frequency and give me some advice. You may feel lonely. You may feel out in the cold. You may feel all of this, but you're going to overcome any of these challenges. Everything's going to be okay. You don't have to worry about being persecuted or alone or stuck. Everything's going to be okay. Loneliness and homeless came out first. You may feel lonely. You may feel disappointed. Um, you may feel out in the cold. You may have lost your home. You may actually be homeless. And if so, you know, don't worry. You're going to get through it. I can tell you that. Um, you got perseverance here that came out with it. You are up for the challenge here. You're going to endure this. It's going to be a happy resolution for you. Okay, you're going to persevere over any of those obstacles here. You may be hesitating or confused or worried about what's best investment or what's best to invest in. This could be a home, a business, or a relationship. You can persevere over that. You can work. It's going to work itself out with the maintenance card here. This could also mean that a car needs to be um, sent to the shop for some much needed repairs too. So let that be a warning to you, Leo. Um, but also, I just think also it means it's just that there's just amendment, there's adjustment, there's a restoration that's going to happen here. So don't worry because some things are going to work out here. What's the maintenance? Yeah, there's collaboration. So if this is business related, you know, a group of friends or whatever, you've got backup. You got backup. And also, um, you're on your self-love tour. But as much as, I mean, if you keep loving yourself, I'm trying to hold it right. If you keep loving yourself, <laughs> you know, you're going to be okay. Someone, um, but as a warning though, Someone may try to tempt or bribe you or persuade you into a third party situation. 
Um, I think this may very well be a test from the universe, though, just to see if you learn a lesson here. So someone may come and they may bribe you into, you know, a little hanky panky on the side. <laughs> Or it could be that someone that you view that as an enemy or someone that you shouldn't trust is going to bribe or tempt you into something. Don't fall for it. That's just a red flag warning, okay? Focus on your self-love, okay? Strategize, okay? It's time to plan. And you've been doing that. You've been focused with the Nine of Pentacles energy. But this is your planning prediction time. You know, this this is also something that you may have predicted would happen too. It could, it's could, it could, ugh, this could say that maybe you knew that this situation was going to go down. But I think Spirit is telling you to strategize. Make plans to plant new seeds. Okay? Origin. Introvert here. You may be separating yourself from everybody. It's time to come back out into the cold. I said it's time to come back out into the cold. No. It's time for you to come back out into the open, you know, socialize, you know, come out of that energy. You know, there's much to gain here. There is a happy conclusion here, okay? Now, let me say this because it comes up. Illness and death are here. So there may very well be someone here who's who's not feeling too well in your energy, who's not doing too good. So just be aware of that. Or this could also mean that if you have been feeling sick or ill or weak or fragile, there's going to be an ending to that. You don't have to worry about feeling worn out anymore or beat up or anything. If you've been feeling sick, that's going to come to an end. You're going to start feeling better. Or this could, that could also say that that will help you to feel better. Okay. What's the death? Okay. Um, that's savings. That's money. That's like retirement, your stability. So maybe someone here. Is trying to control somebody's money here with the marionette card. That's a that's a message too. You're gonna to be enlightened about this because somebody's gonna come forth and tell the truth and apologize. Mm. <laughs> All right, so Leo, that is your reading. <laughs> I want to say thank you again for all of the love and the support in watching. Please thumbs it up for me and let me know how it resonated. But I want to say again that I'm proud of you. Stay in this Night of Pentacles energy. Stay focused because your dreams are going to come true. You're manifesting them as you do it every day, okay? Thank you again for watching me, and I will see you again in the next video. Bye, my Leos.